All right, hey guys, so um, uh, I'm just kind of uh, doing this video uh, based on a request for some more stretching ideas. Uh, this is uh, basically three stretches that I love to end my class in. Um, static stretches, I also kind of use them as warm-ups. It depends on the classes that I'm, the class that I'm teaching, but this is a really great way to kind of open up um, the body and get it ready for movement or cool down from movement. So three of my favorite stretches. Um, first of them, I kind of start off in a tabletop position. Uh, or a triangle position. Then from there, I kind of take everybody out to the side and reach back. So you have all your weight on your elbow behind you. This is a hip flexor and quad stretch. Now this doesn't have to be in that perfect triangle position, which we, um, which is a technique in, in dance, or this is actually called the triangle position. You can actually separate them, let them relax, let them swing their leg back to what's comfortable. Just place your hand on your elbow. Then from there, it's very, very much an active stretch. So you're not just kind of splatting into the position, but I'm actually driving my thigh back and dropping my tailbone through so that I can feel that stretch and then reaching back so you open up your chest as well. Um, you can do that with, you know, combining it here. Sometimes I'll twist into it, have them find a position and then whatever. So there's a million different ways to get into it, um, but that's a really, really great stretch and it's one that people can control at whatever level of tightness they have in their hip flexors. Second one is a downward dog with a twist. Now I've got a hamstring injury right now, so I'm not able to really do my downward dog very well, but you'll get the idea. Yogis don't judge. <laughs> so um, you go into your downward dog, which I can't even get my heels down right now. So um, go into your downward dog position, find all of your leg, establish them here first. Then you take one arm and reach it across to the outer shin and let them focus on holding the lower half basically exactly where it is, but you're trying to open your chest out to the direction that you're stretching. So the sits bones and the tailbone and all that stuff are still working. And of course you can get both sides. So that's another really great one. Hamstring opener, hello. Ah, that's a good one. Um, and then the last one is a variation on a child's pose. So I would just kind of start them off in a child's pose, but then I'd have them come up, do like a couple of cat and cows, whatever, but take one leg out to the side for an inner thigh stretch. So from there, you kind of sit back on your heel as if you were in a child's pose and then hold it for that inner thigh stretch while still trying to keep your shoulders square to the floor so you're not opening towards the leg. Um, and in fact, if they do have the mobility from there, they can take the same arm, as, um, the, uh, same arm on the side of the leg that's being stretched and thread it through for a nice easy twist. And now that's gonna magnify um, the tension and the stretch on the inner thigh as well. So that's a level one, level two, level three. Level one, level two, level three. You get the idea. Three of my favorite stretches, really great ways to open up your hips um, and also uh, are pretty adaptable for a group setting where you have people with different mobility uh, um, abilities. So if you have any other requests or questions or anything like that, feel free to reach out. We've got tons of ideas. I'm happy to share them. Just let me know. Take care. Bye.